Is it a man, a woman, was he or she real? Or is the fantasy portrait a satirical joke by the Flemish artist Quentin Massais? The answer is actually not that straightforward. First of all, you need to know that this painting has a pendant, which is the portrait of this old man. These paintings were made as a pair, and to make a little bit more sense of these works, the person on the left is holding a rosebud, a flower with sexual connotations. So we can fairly safely assume that we are looking at a woman. The conventional name for this painting is An Old Woman and the companion piece is entitled An Old Man. But the female portrait is better known as the Ugly Duchess or a grotesque old woman. The rosebud is not the only reference with some sexual connotations in this painting. She also shows a lot of cleavage and her head carried rose patterns also known as an escoffion, can simultaneously be interpreted as a pair of wicked horns and having a heart shape. The combination of these elements makes it clear that the woman is tempting the old man. Interestingly, Massais did not choose to depict a pretty woman according to the beauty standards of that time. To be clear, I'm not here to tell you that she's ugly, it is just that Massais, also referred to as Massis, Matsais, Massais, did not make an effort to idealize her. If this was a realistic portrait, most artists would for example not have included the wart on her cheek, or would have shown her from a different angle. So returning to the question I asked on the outset, is this a satirical portrait? Or is there something more to it? Well, for centuries this was considered to be solely a satirical piece, perhaps based on some comical stock character that was popular back in the day, or the description of woman in the famous book In Praise of Folly by Erasmus, which was written a few years earlier. But with today's scientific knowledge, we know that this woman's face is not just an imaginary one that Massais came up with. This woman actually suffers from a rare chronic bone disease called Paget's disease. It is basically a disease in which the body breaks down old bones and creates new bones. And these new bones can have odd shapes and are often fragile. It was a more common disease in the past than today, and modern medicine can actually treat this disease, though it cannot cure someone. In Messiah's painting, the disease manifests itself mostly in the woman's face. Her collarbone and the bone below her eyebrow are clearly extended. Her eyes are deep inside their sockets. The area between her upper lip and nose is stretched out, and her nose and nostrils are pretty white as well. You may think, well, okay, she has a disease, so could this be a realistic portrait of her? Well, there's a reason that this work is known as a grotesque portrait. It's the combination of not portraying her in a particularly flattering way, the wart or mole, and the sexual references that would lead us to conclude that this is indeed meant as a satirical work. But what was Massais trying to make fun of? Well, you may have noticed that her outfit may look, on the one hand, a bit strange, but on the other hand, you can also recognize that some effort has been put into creating a somewhat fashionable outfit. A few decades before this painting was created, this kind of outfit would actually be considered quite fashionable. And also notice the rings on her hands and the beautiful brooch on her headgear. That's certainly not a lower class woman, so it seems that Massais is portraying an elderly woman who is trying to look young and fashionable in order to seduce a man of her age. As if he wants to say, Look at that old woman trying to look young to seduce the man on the other side. Didn't she clearly miss the mark here? 
If we would speculate a bit more, we could ask the question whether she really did miss the mark or whether she may actually succeed in seducing the man. Looking at the man, it seems to me that he is at least considering returning her advances. Or do you disagree with me here? Let me know in the comments down below how you would interpret his case. There is for example also an argument to be made that she holds a rosebud and not a rose in full bloom. And while I let you form your judgement, I can tell you that today both paintings are separated. In 2008 the two works were temporarily reunited in the National Gallery and hopefully they will reunite forever sometime in the future. Sometime between 1480 and 1510, Leonardo da Vinci created some drawings of grotesque skulls, one of which looks very similar to the painting by Massais. Given that the painting by Massais is dated around 1513, it would make sense to assume that Massais based his painting on the drawing by da Vinci. It is known that Massais and Da Vinci communicated with each other and that they also shared some of their sketches. And Da Vinci created some more works with grotesque heads. However, more and more art experts believe that the original design for the grotesque woman came from Massais. Several underdrawings have been found below the painting and it is now believed that Massais made the drawing first, which Da Vinci would then have adapted. Finally, in 1513 Massais would have turned his own drawing into a panel painting. And the painting has kept on inspiring other artists. Like this drawing from 1865 of the character of the Ugly Duchess in Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Or this 17th century depiction of the King and Queen of Tunis. I hope you enjoyed this discussion of a pretty unique masterpiece. As always, I would love to read any thoughts you may have in the comment section down below. And if you want to support the channel, just leave a like and subscribe for any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.